Life is about relationship for me. A relationship to, uh, with real integrity, as much integrity as I can muster within my own frail self. Um, integrity with myself, with friends, with a wife that I don't have, children I don't have yet, hopefully I have them. But the idea for me would be to be known for, for truly loving in the best way I can and allowing myself to be truly loved. Um, you know, I guess if this was the end of my life looking, looking back, and I, if I had any regrets, I guess the regrets would be not having really lived, um, not having really lived in, you know, if, you, if your life is like an empty glove, not having filled the glove, mm -hmm. um, and the fingers kind of half, you know, bent. And what does that represent? I guess it, it sounds like, I, my, I don't know if you've seen Spinal Tap, but yeah. I feel like I'm at the conclusion of Spinal Tap mm -hmm. movie. Um, but I'm trying to be as honest as I can, and I, I guess, yeah. Um, if life is <laughs> life is like an empty glove, and those five fingers represent things, um, the one the thing the bent fingers would be recoiling from love, mm. um, fear fear of failure. I mean, I'm a painter, so I I would I would fear making the statements I really want to make, and and diluting them. Um, so there are bent fingers in the glove, and. Uh, I wouldn't. I would hate to look back and think I hadn't really pulled it on. It's becoming vulnerable to stick your hand. I think so. I think it is. Um, and also, I think I, you t I doubt. Perhaps the danger would be to doubt my own beliefs. Mm -hmm. And so I kind of push, put my hand in, and then, and then, <laughs> and then think, oh, do I really? Do I really believe that? Um, am I crazy to believe that? Yeah. Well, I, I guess the most important question I was asked. I think ever was pe do people know that you're a fraud yet? Mm -hmm. On the basis that the question was really, um, don't live a fraudulent life, live a life that is really who you are, and don't fear that. Be who you are. So find out who you are and live it, and don't be ashamed of it. Coupled with faith, is what the beauty of faith is that who you really are is 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 um is is with God. I think, or conversely, I think God brings you to who you really are, in my experience, however awkward and painful and ugly that is. Mm -hmm. um, and, and be free in that, and if people don't like it, then... <laughs> <laughs> I guess another legacy would be that in spite of all our shit and crap and failings, and, and that if I could be part of a suggestion that in spite of those things that they were loved, that we're loved as people um, by by an unseen God. I think that would be amazing to leave behind, and not in a religious sense or a bullshit sense, but in a real sense of, you know, in spite of what I think of myself or the good and the bad, if 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 I could be part of a legacy that said, you know what, you're all right and you're loved, and and you're accepted, so accept yourself. I'm a painter and a sculptor, and I make images of and bronzes of, of lots of things. But um, uh, the I do a big I've done these big bronzes of, of a redemptive hug of someone being held, and their arms are hanging, and it's like the prodigal embrace of a pretty useless form who's actually uh, kind of at the end, and yet is is being held. And I think from that, if 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 the legacy is that. The statement that actually in our weakness and our, our fear and stumbling and screwing up and um, and passion, that underneath it we are the undergirding arm of of the loving God is there. Then, if I can even be a fraction of a legacy that suggests that, then I'll be freaking happy kid. <laughs> <laughs> like, as long as you feel like a fraud. Yeah. Um, I think a lot of people feel like. Well, yeah. You know, you're always expecting the call from someone going. You know, your number's up, son. We know who you are. It's all a load of shit, or you're a total fraud, and people people know now. You know, and I guess I guess everybody's a fraud. We all put out what we're not and pretend and stuff. And I guess that's the game of life. But in the, in a sense, it's a bit of a waste of life. Yeah. And um, to, to have the guts to be truly who you are and not have to fake anything is a pretty scary place. But <laughs> Maybe that's one of the fingers in the glove, you know, just to get up 
up yours, and this is me, and yeah. just fill the glass. <laughs> Well, in this one, Scott, yeah, this is me, man. You know, yeah. this is it, and you know, and not have to perform to anyone other than than no one actually, just to live truly who you really are and shamelessly. I and, think most people are feeling like a fraud. Yeah, and it's like, is that a is that, that, that a thing to overcome? Is it going to always be with you? Just like, oh, someone could say something. I think I just tear down my whole wall. Here <laughs> yeah, I yeah. I I, th I think to to accept that you're a fraud is probably the first step. You know, <laughs> that's awesome. Isn't it? Just yeah. to accept it, you know, go, yeah, I'm a sort of fraud. Mm -hmm. And then, yet I haven't met anyone who isn't, frankly. Yeah. Um, so we're on the same fraudulent steam train. Yeah. Um, and so just accept the fact that you're a fraud uh, and kind of the ex accepting it is a kind of freedom from it in a way, because mm -hmm. that's the way out of it, I guess, is to know that you are and, um, and to enjoy the little bits of yourself where you're actually being true. And maybe those bits will grow, you know. Good. And you're not frightened of them. And actually, the ugliest bits when you talk about them actually gets better and better. And um, people like honesty. And it's kind of novel in a culture that's scared of being. Here I am. Yeah, you know. Um, and you, you, I mean, you're saying, I mean, the pursuit of, of the unseen, unknown God. Yeah. Um, right now, what do you feel like? Kind of, what's your feeling about? about God. And well, I, 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 you know, I've gone from, from an atheism to theism to, to hatred of God to, to needing God to wanting God to actually loving God. And I, right now where I am is in a very slow place where I think you get caught up. If you are in a, in a religious context, then sometimes you're carried along and buoyed along by the energy of the other people. But I think with, with God, I've discovered that you need to be in your own, at your own pace and just find integrity on an hourly basis. Um, however ugly it looks and, and and be as real as you can and if you can believe that in that reality there is God intertwined God with reality rather than an escape from reality which religion often is but intertwine him with honesty integrity and and pull him in and say here I am and he's right there and whatever it is you're doing whatever the hell it is you're up to and I think step by step the the, the, the like the um Railway sleepers on the track, they just, the undergrowth there, but they un, the undergrowth comes away and but it's not on a steam train, it's a very slow sleeper by sleeper, but each step is real and, and you don't fake anything and I love the fact that you can go slow and be, fuck up and be known in, the, in spite of it, it's so cool. Um, and I think the center of that actually is, is Jesus and I think he, he is takes it all on and listens and uh at the risk of sounding really trite and you know it it always can sound trite i think religious statements but at the end of the day i think um uh to have that grace through this extraordinary death of this person this cross and to be accepted with all your shit and be loved and known is kind of really where it's at and if I could leave a legacy if, that suggests anything along those lines, I'd die. Um, well, I'd die, wouldn't I? <laughs> but I'd die, <laughs> I'd, I'd die uh, you know, feeling relieved that I could have been a part of the solution and not the problem, maybe.